Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I wanna cover investment criteria, the golden rules to investing, and kind of rework your mind, because a lot of you guys are brainwashed, you got the wrong information, right? So let's say you're a real estate agent over here, you're making $55,000 a year, you got your business, whatever your business is, right? The last thing you guys wanna do is come all the way out here and go start something new, right? Think of, think of like a pond or a lake. If I drop a rock here, why am I gonna go drop a rock over here, right? Let the ripples happen off of this one business. Are you guys following me? So if we're in the real estate space, say you're a real estate agent making 55 grand a year, again, you don't wanna to come to the stocks and the Shopify, let it ripple out. So if we drop the rock here, we only wanna come out to here on that next thing, right? So if you're a real estate agent, what, what could you do? You could add wholesaling into your business, right? So when they don't wanna list, we offer to wholesale. We try and buy it. We try and do a wholesale deal or vice versa. Maybe you're a wholesaler making 55 grand a year, which is low. That's, the, that's on the low side for wholesale. But you can get your license and those people that don't accept your cash offer, you could offer to list, right? And then, you know, you just want it to come out. Now you can go to seller finance. Now you can try and do Airbnb arbitrage, the rentals. And basically what we're trying to do is let this become symbiotic, symbiotic circles right here, symbiotic flows um, because coming out to something else, you drop, it's too much energy. You guys are wasting too much time, too much energy. A lot of you guys all over the internet, you guys are hearing people like, oh, you know, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Th that advice is coming from the billionaires um, and they have to diversify. You'll get to a level at one point in life where you have to diversify. But starting out, that's the biggest mistake. You want to keep all that eggs in one basket, right? Put all your attention, time, and energy growing that first thing. Now let let's talk about investment criteria. So when it comes down to investment criteria, I got four rules for you. This is, this, this is gonna reshape how you really think about where you're gonna put your money, what you're going to invest in, right? So rule number one, 0% chance of loss. You guys see that? So rule number one, 0% chance of loss, right? This would eliminate probably a lot of the things you guys would put your money in. You wouldn't be playing with Bitcoin. You wouldn't be you know, trying a, a Shopify store or buying some business uh, that, that's making a few bucks a month, right? So 0% chance of loss, that's rule number one. Rule number two is uh, it throws off cash flow. Rule number two, guys, rule number two wipes out probably everything you guys would put your money in, right? Bitcoin, there is no cash flow right? The stock market, zero cash flow. I need checks coming to me every single month, right? Uh, a 401k, a Roth IRA, um, all that stuff, guys. Number two wipes out all that crap you would put in. The, most, the, re the reason we want to invest into real estate is because, again, it spits out cash flow. We get mailbox money. That's the goal, right? You putting your money in the stock market or the 401k, that does nothing for you. You might, you might make a gain, right? But even that gain still ain't gonna do nothing. Say you make a million dollars on a gain, you can't retire on a million bucks, right? But I could retire with a few rental properties paying me a few thousand bucks a month. So number two, uh, cash flow, must have cash flow. Number three, cash flow increases. Cash flow goes up. Cash flow goes up. So in the in the real estate space, guys, in the rental game, how I show you guys how to get free rental properties, even if I do nothing to my rental properties, as the inflation goes up, market goes up, so do my rents. I just need to maintain the asset. Um, so again, super, super important. You guys get these three. So, you know, 0% chance of a loss has positive cash flow. It spits out money every single month. Number three, cash flow goes up over time. And number four is the asset appreciates. Uh, asset goes up. So if you guys follow these four, anything you guys wanna buy, you guys are looking at, at buying a stock or buying Bitcoin or investing into your friend's business or uh, you know investing into some fun, guys, anything you guys are looking at, you need to make sure um, that investment hits all these points. Now, one thing I want us to know too, I want to say this to you guys, we're, we're, you know, the market's going to be coming down here soon. You know, something's going to happen. So I think right now, 
If you guys are watching this 2022, 2023, it's super, super important that you guys not only follow these four rules, but you're also invested in necessity class assets, right? So what's the necessity? Food, water, clothing, uh, shelter, ding, 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 rentals, right? Um, you have to be invested in a necessity class asset. A lot of you guys, you might be doing good right now with your lawn care company or you're, you're selling t-shirts online. You got your Shopify, you know, day trade and doing whatever, right? One, it's got to hit all four. But two, if you're not in a necessity class asset or business, you got to get out of that. Because when this market tanks, there's two sides of the coin, right? You're either going to be where probably a lot of you guys are at right now, not invested into those things. And you guys are going to get spanked, right? You know, say you got, I was talking to a dude the other day. He's like, yeah, Eric, I made, you know, six figures this year cutting grass. Um, when this market tanks, there's going to be a whole lot of people that are going to cut their own grass. That's what I told him. Now, when the market tanks, if you're on the other side of the coin and you are invested in necessity class assets, it's going to be the opportunity of a lifetime, right? When the market tanks, one, it's, it's only going to give us more opportunity to get more free property. Um, but two, the main priority is not buying your mug or getting their grass cut and paying 100 bucks a month for that. Their main focus is going to be able to, to, to provide a, a roof over their family's head, right? And that's why we're going to be able to prosper when this market tanks in the rental game. Guys, look, I, I teach people how to get free real estate. Um, I believe real estate is, is the king of the hill. I mean, there, there's nothing that really can even be compared to, to real estate and owning rental properties. Why? Because a lot of things don't hit all four points here. Um, so if you guys are interested in learning how to get free homes, uh, shoot me a message over on my Instagram. There's a link in the bio. I want to connect with you guys. I'll hook you guys up with my course for free. Um, and I also offer a mentorship on top of that. If you guys have any interest, hit me up. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments too. I'll see you guys in the next one.